Oh hi there big boys, welcome to Foreclose, this is an action adventure game with comic book style vibes. I'll let you read the cutscene and listen to the voice, that doesn't make any sense. to exist, and the most important choice of my life was one click away from me. Damn. Do you like the art style? Very cool. Oh look, a bit of interaction for the comic books vibes. Wake up. Start good morning routine, okay. Wow, looks very pretty, doesn't it? Very unique. Cool, let's, let's actually do something then, shall we? Miss the game. Red direct debit has failed, oh. Don't I know it, I know that vibe. Pleasure Doll's Widow, oh wow, I want a, I want a Pleasure Doll Widow. What's this? Mr. Evan Kaplan. Identity implant KPN4722. The owner of your identity debt, as well as your employer, SecureTech Inc., went bankrupt. Hence, I had to personally authorize the foreclosure of your identity. I said it. You are in a stalemate, Mr. Kapnos. Until the auctioning, your ID is going to be suspended. Mental bollards will prevent you from leaving the city. Identity of your interlocutors will be censored. Your access to the blockchain will stay disabled. Your service blockchain. weapon has been disassociated from your ID. As the protocol imposes, you are required to reach the court within 4 p.m. on today's date. Beyond that term, I will be compelled to consider you as non-compliant. No. Have a nice day, Mr. Kapnos. Alright then. Let's uh, do something. Let's we can move the camera, we can move about. Looks good so far. Ooh, camera's a little bit odd. Looks like I it's. Um, I mean, I mean, I, I get why first-person cameras do that, but normally there's a form of limit to that anyway. Sort of putting it onto an arm and then uh, having it applied with stuff. Wear some clothes and quickly reach the court. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's some food. Oh wow, look at that. I like the the art style they've got here. I like the the inside of this man's house. <laughs> Why, why is pressing A to view inside not working? Hmm. I can, you can actually buy stuff from the fridge apparently. Disconnected from my ID. Still got guns just though. Junk. Sure. How well progressed this is as a place. Where do I get my clothes from then? Should it be upstairs maybe? Maybe I should have looked upstairs for clothes. Uh, yeah, clothes. Hell looks like clothes. Cool. Ah. Needs a wardrobe when you can uh. clothes all over the room. Well, um. I mean, that's not a great idea. Where's the clothes then? Cool, music. Quite cool. Turn on and off, I think. Now I should try it. Where's the clothes? Where's my clothes be, daddy? Seriously, where are my clothes? Am I being stupid? Ah, no gun. Ah! My shower. I'm really confused. Well, where's the clothes? Am I being stupid? There's the clothes. <laughs> Thrown on the bed. That's a weird outfit you got there. Don't like it, to be honest. Okay, can we have some food. Can we have some food. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Yeah, all right. I guess we don't need to. No. Sure, I'll live. Oh, that was apparently not a cut scene. that to control that. Okay. We're also controlling this bit. So well. that's really quite cool. Very innovative and unique. I like it. Yeah. Okay. It does look a bit weird though. This character design is a bit odd. Also doesn't do that thing where if you walk into a wall then it stops you from moving, which I've always found to be very useful, very nice. But this game does not support that unfortunately. Oh well. Even games like 2007 supported that. Anyway, look at this. It looks really quite unique and nice. It gives me sort of Dreamfall chapters vibes, or well Dreamfall vibes in general. Yeah. Quite quite nice to look. I should apply for a firmware upgrade. Thing is I don't think I'd be against if the world looked like this in real life um, in 20 years time or whatever, or however many years it's set in. Because, doesn't it just sound quite cool? I mean, no, obviously, that wasn't but my best day so far. I do like the idea but of having a fridge good. that's already like filled up there with stuff. Although, to be fair, do you see how big his house works? was? Pretty tiny. Although, he did have two, two um, <laughs> stairs. Well, not two stairs, he had two layers of building. Probably quite expensive, really. Running well, getting about 120 FPS, as you would probably hope for, given my graphics card. 3080. Experimental firmware initialized, how exciting. 
Alright. Gonna die. Dodge. Ah, uh, I don't actually know what the gameplay of this game is like. To be honest, I don't know if it's more of a, if it's like a combat-based game or what's going on. But it's definitely interesting. I'm like, ah, oh, no, I can't go that way. Apparently, dodging bullets. This is quite cool, cinematic, but right. Ah. Oh! Okay. I don't think you actually could die in this situation. To be honest, but um, it does look cool. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. But uh, I noticed it's actually got quite a lot of bad reviews. I didn't read the bad reviews because I didn't want to take my ex. Oh, um, take my expectations. But um. Seems alright so far. I mean, I wouldn't surprise people say, "Oh, it's very linear." But I mean, I feel like that's probably the point. I feel like a lot of these games tend to. Oh, um, allow. I'm unlocking the maintenance area. Thank you. I mean, I, I'd like to be currently moving because I'm going to get shot. Plus, that good if you want to live. I do want to live. Thank you very much. Let's go down here. Where will this take us? I wonder. Somewhere else. It looks like some sewers. It looks crowded out here. Okay, listen. I know you have a lot of questions, but I need you to trust me. There's a small cover right in front of the door. Stay down and come out slowly. Okay. Ooh, let's go. So, a bit of stealth section okay, for you here. I can see you again. There is a blind spot under that big turbine. Hey, stealth spot. I'll reach it while I look for a way out. Okay, I will do. Ah! Ah! That guy very nearly saw us. Good thing they got little bars to warn us before that happens. That guy's gonna see us. Ooh, no, he's not. Okay, that's lucky. I should be a skill, sorry. Look at the tank on the right. Yes. I'm opening an air vent next to it. Very much. A person who I don't know the name of. But I hope to know the name of soon. It gives me like Matrix vibes as well, to be honest. Oh, oh. I mean, that's that was a bit bit silly. Okay. Luckily I avoided that but but I was quite worried about that but look you know the path thing was kinda of confusing because okay, they were both turning around at almost the exact same time. Find a safe spot and I'll be there with a car in minutes. You'll be oh, there in a car. Not there, but you'll be there. Your Just don't worry. Okay. I won't. Uh where do we, uh, what how do we get yeah, I mean, that perspective's changed to first person. This game's quite odd in the fact that it's... There doesn't seem to be a gameplay loop that I'm getting so far. It's just sort of like random stuff's happening. With a... I mean, it's got, it's got kind of an interesting hook so far, I guess. But I don't know, man. It's kind of a weird game. It's in general, it's a bit of an odd one. I'm not disliking it. Yeah, I could see myself playing more of this. I would like to know what goes on. Seems like an interesting game. Anyone, anyways see what happens as we do probably not a whole lot there we are right we're now here we can stop crouching We've got more something weird scenes. may happen with your implants oh yeah did it it was already happening affecting my whole life mm. okay implants menu I had never seen something like that my implants were literally learning from my experiences Okay. Oh, what's this? Um, unprinted devices can be hacked. Okay, that sounds useful. Thank you. Okay, let's try to hack this, I guess. Oh, we'll use the D-pad apparently. Okay, fair enough. Let's continue on. Oh, picking up your position. I'll try to move closer. Please do, please do. Ah, stop doing that, man. Okay. Um. Right. What is that? Secure tech. Sounds very nice, isn't it? Here, my tech, complete tech head. Uh, how do I get over there then? Do I have to go this way? Or no? Hmm. What's the camera didn't move so fast? Turn that down, really. I'm sure there's a way. I'm confused. How do I. Is there any other way I can go? No. Am I being stupid? Potentially. I want to open this door. I want more of these augmentations. How do I open the door? I think it's about three hours long, by the way. Uh, I'm really confused. Am I being stupid here? I don't think I was. There's nowhere to go. I want to go in here, but I can't. Okay, is there anywhere else we can go in here, then? No. We can go back in there. Maybe we should do that. Oh. 
That doesn't feel right. Yeah, I don't, oh, there you go. We got there at the end. That was a bit dodge. Alright, maybe we're meant to be going in here. Maybe I'm... Maybe that's what it wants me to do. I don't really know. I mean, I feel like the fact that I can go back in here, they wouldn't have done that unless... Yeah, okay. Oh, that was a bit confusing. Cause I don't know why you'd... um do. Why did I go down there in the first place? I don't know. Unless that was to get my augmentation or whatever. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I don't know, a bit odd. Anyway, next area. Brrr. Where is this going to take us, I wonder? Oh, there's a person. Kapnos, right? Glad my name is Kapnos, so that's a hell of a name. Listen, we are under a certain amount of time pressure, but I think I owe you some explanation. I'll have to be quick, so. Is there anything specific you'd like to know before we move forward? Um, why do you exist? Yeah, who are you? My name is Dahlia Kari. I am the founder of Circuitech. Or at least I was until this bankrupt bomb exploded into my hands. Right, you're the one behind this mess. I'm involved it takes in ages since you do the next ways, bit. But I'm definitely not trying to kill you. I don't trust definitely not. That doesn't sound Your very, uh, exactly compliant. Uh-oh, why not? There's an experimental firmware running your implants. It shouldn't have emerged now. But... I wasn't it's trying to take so long. I've already read it when I picked it. Trying to sabotage me. Ooh. That's what I'm trying to find out. But we need to cooperate for this. Okay. Why should I help you? Whoever is trying to sabotage Circuitech has eliminated all your colleagues. You may have noticed that somebody is trying the word to already. do the job. Any more questions? Um, what has happened to my implants? Your implants are not exactly compliant. Or better, there's an experimental firm what? running your implants. That's why you've already said this. You shouldn't have emerged now. Why are you re-saying stuff? Oh, did I did I click the button? I Okay, it really should have hit that bit of dialogue. I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I said it already, but I thought maybe there'd be like a new bit that they were gonna say. No, they're just gonna repeat the same thing. Okay, then we'll try and say some slightly different things this time. Come on, skip! The piss! Why? Oh, why, daddy? Okay, alright, okay. Uh, Whoever is trying to no, I can't skip. Circuitect has eliminated all your colleagues. Yeah, you may have. I know you told me. Is trying to finish the job. Any more questions? Oh no, let me just continue. There you go. That sounds like a continue one. In the Circuitech laboratories, there's a weapon built to connect and extend the potential of your implants. If we get it back, it will be a lot easier to stay alive while we understand who's behind all of this. Right, okay. Uh, let's go there now. That's exactly what we are doing. I just have to find a safe spot for landing. Okay. Let me check. Oh, there's a loading screen. Something hmm. is not working here. I'm locked out from the Circuit Tech surveillance system. Uh, your firmware should be able to connect from the distance. Can you bypass the access to the cameras from here? Yes, apparently. There you go. Very difficult. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video here, but um, this is an interesting game for sure. I'm going to be playing some more of it. I quite like it. I'm a big fan of these sort of nar narrative games where you just That's sort of go through a story into a like, linear there, story. I like games like that, especially if they've got enough like, interaction not to keep bored. I like what the Telltale no. games do some to struggle with and stuff safe. like that. But anyway, yeah, it's not too bad. Park. You can get on Steam if you like. It's also available on Switch, I think, and PlayStation and Xbox, etc. So there you go. Thanks for watching, big boys. It's for your time, and bye!